Not today. I am gonna do a bit of repair on the WM EX610. And this is the one which I took with me to the Play Expo. Actually, uh, this has been, I've been inside this twice. The first time it was just the belts. So I actually got, uh, I ordered a new belt from uh, all the way from Portugal. And uh, it was kind of, um, uh, it's just one of these really stupidly thin ones. So it wasn't available around here. So I had to get one for the exact model. And yeah, anyway, it, the belt works fine, but I've taken it out again because I think I'm going to need to do some soldering. Right, when I came back from the Play Expo, what had happened is on the way there, it was fine. On the way back, I mean, this has actually got an auto reverse. So on one of the sides, like one of the heads, um, the, which channel is it? It's the right channel that doesn't work, but when you flip to the other side of the cassette, as in, you know, auto reverse, um, the both sides work, both channels work. However, when you turn the cassette around, um, you know, you have you know, the same thing happening, so it's not the cassette, it's definitely not the cassette. And it does it with all cassettes. So I'm thinking there has been, you know, there's a loose connection between, you know, this, this is belt here that leads right to the head, so it's gonna be a squeeze. So I'm thinking one of these is probably broken and obviously I cannot fit, I cannot fix you know these belts so what I'm gonna do is I've prepared some mudding wire here so what I can do is just you know create a connection over it with mudding wire and then just you know and it should be fine but it's just finding which freaking one it is now because it's kind of like you know ooh, big job now but actually it may not be that big okay so I decided to take the belt out because you know I just don't want the soldering iron to hit the belt by accident and melt all the way through it because it's like a thin belt and I'll have to order another one from Portugal and it wasn't greatly cheap so um, yeah let's kind of like play it safe here okay it looks like I'm gonna have to take off this top bit too I hate disassembling absolutely everything there is to disassemble it's just like getting it all back together again it's gonna be a bit of a challenge I'm gonna get this fixed because I really love this um, this Walkman. And yes, indeed, for those who nitpick so much, I know they're all not called Walkman. It's only the Sony ones that are called Walkman. But hey, I'm not that square, so I really don't care. I will call even a Panasonic one sometimes a Walkman. So. Let's see which of these... I'm going to have to get the multimeter out and check which of these is the actual, um, you know, the one which is broken. This is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let's check which is which. This one is definitely cut. There's no connection to any of these. Okay, so on the playhead, I've gone through each one of these and every combination uh, with this and I think that I've come across this is this one, this top one here, this one and this first one that do not connect. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to solder a mudding wire on each of these. This is going to be very <laughs> tricky. Okay, so I'm going to have to be very careful about this. I'm scared because I don't want to screw this up. Let's just add some new solder to this very carefully. No, too much, too much. Darn it, too much. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Good, I took it off. <laughs> that was a panic moment. Okay, so let's... Okay, that seems like a, a good connection. Now, now let's kind of make this as discreet. 
read as possible. Um, this right here. Solder this on the end one. And really hope it freaking works. <laughs> Gotta be very careful because this is. I'm so not good at SMD. So this needs to be done extremely carefully. Okay, I think we're done here. I hope I haven't goofed anything up with freaking heat. Um, I need to find a way to fold this in. <laughs> so it's kind of. As you can see here, it's just coming from here. You know, it's tucked all the way here. And then going to that top pin. On the tape head. Now let's hope that's a freaking right pin. According to my multimeter, that's the right one. Because I tried every combination. And <laughs> that's the one that just, these two are the one that just didn't connect with each other. We put the belt back in. As far as I freaking remember. <laughs> this is, um, goes like this. Yeah. Yep. By the way, if you wish to watch the video of my play expo, I had an amazing time and I have lots of people to thank for that, which I thank in the video and in the description of the video. Uh, my play expo in Manchester, <laughs> I enjoyed myself so much. So if you wish to watch that, the link is you know around and in the description below. Okay, so that's fine. I think this is it. And we test this now. Let's put this this back together because this makes me nervous. Uh, yeah. Okay. Before I close this up. What I want to do is test it, uh, so it just saves me from freaking opening it up again if it's not done anything. So um, I'll test it while it's open and we'll test it together, I connect it to your ears. <laughs> okay, so in order to test this, uh, I'm going to have to take the microphone out, which uh, of course after that you're not going to hear me, but I will try my best with hand gestures. Fantastic! I repaired it, it works! It actually feels way more satisfying after you've repaired it. I feel close to this thing now. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing back together and that's it, we can use it now. I did everything else the first time around when I changed the belts. Um, you know, I cleaned the heads and um, demagnetized everything else. So that's basically all that's needed, to be honest. There's another one somewhere else and we're done. Ah! Do not want to lose any of you dudes. No screw lost. Okay, so let's try one more last test before we, we go. This is working and I am happy once again. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. 
And uh, also I'm on Patreon, so if you wish to support me, the link is around as well. So for now, I will say adios. I would like to thank my patrons, James Burr, Casual Commodore, Sean O'Keefe, Al Hunt, Cameron Armstrong, Hazemaker, Gadget UK164, Linus Johansson, Rudiger Stiedel, and Rofi Otterstein. Do forgive me if I haven't pronounced your name right, but I wish to say thanks so much to all of you for your generous donation and your support. I really appreciate it.